Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's get started. Once the probably overly loud intro gets done. Okay. First things first, I need to adjust the volume because it has a lovely little bug where I have to tweak it just like that before it settles its volume levels. Right. We're going to get started here with Long War of the Chosen. Uh, let's see. Hunter, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Add. Uh, so we're going to start on Commander Difficulty without any uh, advanced options triggered. Uh, so pretty much all default kind of difficulty level. Uh, I do have a mod that... Uh, a, couple of mo a couple of small mods that sort of side grade the difficulty a little bit. Uh, height advantage and being able to peek a little bit from concealment like if you sidle up to a wall or on a roof but that's about it um but yeah everything else is pretty standard we're gonna start on commander and we're definitely starting without iron man because bugs and weirdness happen sometimes accessing the feed now and we don't really need to see the intro. Uh, Hunter, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> and the bonk, I guess. Uh, I've only got like what is it, three or four or five characters in the character pool so far, so we're probably going to see all of them in the first mission. Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, if you do want a character named after you, there is a channel point reward. And if you want uh, something other than like the default appearance, we can spend a minute on that. Uh, but yeah. Here we go with the gate crash uh, mission. Uh, let's have a look at our soldiers first. One K too much. I could bump it down a bit, maybe. Streamer is Chad Streamer on non-main game. Beep beep beep. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Damsel, thank you very much for the raid right at the start of the stream. Thank you so much. Uh, Ragnarok, Hunter, Crazy Berto, good to see you again. Maki, thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated for the 15 months we've been doing this. Wow. Uh, I, I can hardly say it feels like yesterday we started, but it's still surprising every time. Yo, Yo indeed. Uh, and, uh, yeah, welcome on in, everyone. So, for those who just came in, we are literally just getting started, haven't done a single move yet. Uh, this is the Gate Crasher mission for Long War of the Chosen. Uh, we've got a few people with, uh, characters. I didn't have, like, files, uh, character files, so I just tried to make them look like their, uh, Discord avatars. <laughs> So this is Rorosaur. Can't end stream? Uh-oh. Have you tried turning it off and on? You might actually have to, literally. Or like, what is it in Windows? The log out, log off thing? Has XCOM 2 been updated recently? Uh, I don't know about how recently it is, but uh, Long War 2... Uh, last I played it a long time ago, before I've played it recently. Um, I, I thought they were never going to update it to use War of the Chosen, but someone did, eventually. Back later? Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> going to have to smother it. Um, but yeah, let's see what we've got. 
Uh, we got Anna Moreno, bad aim, great mobility, bit of dodge, uh, pretty standard health. Uh, health. We've got good health, bog standard aim, and bad mobility on Yatu Watu. Not the worst mobility, Joe, though, just slightly below what we want. Uh, this is the character that I made for the Freeman's Mind voice pack. Great aim, almost as good as it gets for a rookie. Uh, decent health, bad mobility. Uh, what else have we got here? Slightly above average aim on Lazic. Terrible mobility. Uh, I think that might be the worst you can get, actually. 13 mobility. You really want, wherever possible, to keep the mobility at 14 or higher. Uh, after they have items. Uh, otherwise it gets very difficult to put them in position. Good health, though. Good health, good aim, just terrible mobility. Uh, we got... Ooh, we're starting with a Reaper. That will probably make things easier. Uh, I haven't actually... I, I, I've done a couple of partial playthroughs of Long War of the Chosen, but I haven't started with the Reaper even once. Uh, so we've got... Well, 77 isn't yet great aim, but Reapers always have great aim. Uh, I think they get, like, plus 10 from the rifle as well. Horrible, horrible mobility. That's actually shockingly bad. Um, negative dodge, good health. But still, starting with a Reaper. Kind of hard to go wrong with that. Stardust Nebula. We've got bad aim, normal mobility, good health, bad dodge... Lots of will. I think that's really high for a rookie, right? Yeah. 40 is about as high as it gets. And then... That's it. That's everybody. Alright, I think I'll put our scout... Uh, how do I swap this? Like that. Uh, we'll have our scout go first. This is the only character able to go back into stealth. After we lose concealment. Oh, and we've already found our targets. The bulk of the Advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them very excited to see this game because I own this but never played it. Nice, nice. Um, so this is actually a mod that makes the base game a lot longer, arguably a lot more difficult. Uh, it makes it feel more like a guerrilla war. I have to. I've, I've got free cam uh, mod, and I need to remember not to like tilt it down this much in these subway levels, because otherwise we can't see anything. Uh, so there should be, I think it's like 12 to 15 enemies on the first mission. We've found four of them already. We definitely want to ambush the biggest group of enemies we can uh, to start things off. This is probably safe. Um, and this is one of the few missions where we're able to get corpses, uh, salvage and stuff. Um, so we don't necessarily want to kill all of the enemies with grenade spam, which makes it a little bit harder. Um, who's one of the slow bees? Lazic, let's move you first. Probably here is fine. Nightwalk is also very slow, um, but you've actually got uh, you've actually got a sniper rifle. I've never had this weapon available on the first mission like this. That's actually great. Um, running out of good spots to cozy up to here. Let's get someone with good aim on... I've already moved everyone with good aim. Uh, let's just get you up here with the least bad aim, Rorosaur. It's actually bog standard aim for a rookie. 
I don't really want to move someone without cover facing both this way and this way. Um, because if they... If their detection radius crosses us without cover in the way, the whole thing's blown. And if we don't get a good ambush, uh, we're done skiing on the first mission. Let's just move you over here for now. And... I'm not going to be too greedy. We've got unlimited time. Most missions, uh, we're on a really strict time limit. But this is one of the few where there aren't going to be any reinforcements. We absolutely yeah. have to kill everything. So we really want to take our time and get a good ambush. Um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to poke my th head through here. That sounds like a very good way to get messed up. Instead, I think... I don't really want... Oh, Rorosaur's got good dodge at least, so the enemy might not prefer to target him. But even so, low health, good aim, I kind of want him more at the back if enemies come through here. It could be a little dangerous just walking across here, to be honest. What's this? No Terraria, only your Factorio? Who are you and what have you done with the real T-Hacks? The real T-Hacks likes a bit of variety. I mean, I like a bit of variety. Um, if I could move both of these guys up here and here... I, I don't think... I don't think that patrol can walk through this door on the next turn, but... Uh, again, with unlimited time, I really don't want to take unnecessary chances when we really need a good ambush. I think we will go this way. Yeah, we can't see them right now. No matter where we go. Oh, and that's why you should wait until the camera does its jerk. We're not going to get an Overwatch shot this turn with uh, Stardust, but I'm not going to go back. There's like a 99% chance that that's not going to matter. Um, that's fine. I'd really like to know where the other enemy squads are. Maybe I should become a tour guide after this. I'm good at that. But I do want to keep everyone in position here on the off chance they come through that uh, archway anytime soon. Understood. Moving out. Eyes on the prize. Gotta kill them on it. Uh, I just realized... No, you've got plenty of range. The sniper doesn't have long watch, so won't get a reaction shot beyond visual range. Normal visual range. But... I don't think I don't it'll be it. needed anyway. I see nothing. Uh, tiny risk, maybe? Seems okay. There's actually no vision over here, so it's probably... Probably safe to put Rorosaur over here. Out. Spread out a little bit in case they come in through either out. doorway here. I'm not entirely convinced that they will come through either of these doorways anytime soon. We can definitely peek like this. Let's see, our vision... It's a little hard to see with multiple layers, but... If they walk around over here, we should definitely spot them. These trains are... 
not the best to have to move through without losing stealth. I'd really like to know where the other groups of enemies are. Let's have a peek over... Uh-oh. I heard a... I felt a jolt. I thought... I thought we'd been spotted. Oh, that's actually the edge of the map? Okay. So, everything back here should be totally safe. Should be. Um, in that case, let's move up and get eyes wherever we can. And maybe in a turn or two, we'll creep forward. Roger that. It's still possible that a surveillance drone could casually fly through here at Mark 12. Roger that. So I don't want to leave anyone exposed, without overwatches at least. I go where you tell me. I'll keep an eye on it. I think we're spread a little bit thin no to be honest but understood moving out i'm on it roger i'm on it eyes all out listen also hi how are you not bad physically i've definitely been better but overall not too bad oh that's a different squad so we've seen eight i think there should be one more squad that's quite small. Uh, it would definitely be preferable to ambush the one with the officer. That's the most dangerous unit we're going to face on this mission. Um, does Line of Sight actually go through those doors or not? It looks like it doesn't. Even though the graphic kind of has glass doors. We can't see all of them at the moment, so it's possible, like, I can't move there, so I bet the officer is standing there, and it might be the case that if I move here, we get spotted. So I'm going to be extra careful. Okay. And I don't really have a good move for Yatu. Here is okay, actually. And Borisaur, probably safe over there. We're not going to get Svetlana a reaction shot if things go bad this turn, but it's probably fine. I'm not going to risk this one right now. Oh, I think I just saw, yeah, there's enemies here. We can't move here. Okay, this might be about to get interesting. Moving on target location. Can we get line of sight on them? We can. Alright, so that is... What is that? Engineer. Why does it look white? I think it's just the, like, line of sight rendering stuff. They're actually wearing red. I don't want to activate on two squads at once, but if we all get decent Overwatch shots, it might be okay. What's over here? Aliens come out Folks I this is the last one. Sick and it's cold here, so I'm feeling a bit under the weather. I get beaver spikes. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, it's happening. Well, good luck. I didn't actually think they would just stroll through both of those doors. That's about as far as they could have moved in one turn as well. Good start. Great start. Okay, officer down. Drone's almost dead. Nicely done by the sniper as well. We finally miss a shot. Drone down. Did you see that one? And an entire rainbow squad probably not going to get shot at. But at least they won't get... Oh! Not bad, not bad. 
min roll on the damage, but otherwise. Uh, I'll take this PCS focus. That's the worst possible loot, literally. Um, so there's one enemy on Overwatch. Um, so we can't just walk around wherever we, we want until we've dealt with that. They probably have pretty bad aim, though. Red Fog. Oh, crap. I forgot to... It probably doesn't make a difference until now. Uh, I forgot to change a couple of the settings. Well, this would have made some difference, but we didn't actually get any Graze hits. So Graze Band uh, makes fewer shots miss and fewer shots hit hard, basically. Um, you've got like a plus or minus 5% to get a, a Grazing hit. I like that on 5%. Uh, red Fog for everyone. So if we... Oops. Uh, if you're damaged, you don't have as good aim or mobility. Hidden potential, yes. Not created equally, yes, is on by default. Uh, and I think that's everything. Just the graze band and hidden potential. Which, uh, we can't change this until we get into the mission. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't kick in until afterwards, so... Uh, we probably haven't missed anything. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's it. Alright, save game. Let's see. Red Fog... Doesn't appear to be activated. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it had to be, like, switched on before they took damage. Oh, it says XCOM only. There we go. Red Fog, negative 16 aim. There we go. So, like, 50-50... If he has a clean shot. Um, I could flashbang them. And then we just walk in and murder them. I'm more concerned about this end. If we stroll in to get some flank shots. We're probably not going to kill everyone else. Uh, I'm not worried about the engineer... They just like to throw out flashbangs that deal no damage. The sentry is a bit more of a problem. The gunner is the biggest threat by far. And it's the trooper that's mostly dead. I could toss a grenade, kill this guy, possibly kill this guy, but probably just wound him. We'd lose one corpse. But it'd be a clean way to deal with the problem. Let's see. Who's got the best... Shot. No one's got a good shot on this guy. I'm not surprised. Oh, we could use Shadow. Uh, yeah. That, that seems like a good idea. Someone's blocking the ladder, though. Uh, what I'd like to do is activate Shadow... Climb over here and just toss a knife in this guy's back without triggering the Overwatch fire. Um, but first, I would have to move Moreno. Who's the tankiest person? It's actually the sniper. Oh, wait. We're not going to be able to get there and still have a blue move, even with Shadow. That's not going to work. Hmm. Even so, I wouldn't mind... Well, you've got lots of health. Negative 6 dodge, though. Who's got 5 health? 7 dodge, 5 health on Lazig. We could just... run right up to this guy. Two to four plus one damage. It would be a miracle if it happened, but we could go down to two health. But that's the worst case. And we still have cover against these guys. We've definitely got enough people over here to execute this trooper. I think we run the Overwatch if we're going to be greedy. 
99% chance to hit equals zero. Chance to hit equals zero percent chance to hit. Yes. All right, so we are going to... I think we're going to run this Overwatch. And then... He should have cover while he's running it from here to here, so it should be really unlikely for this guy to hit. There we go. And we got an auto loader. That's a good start. That's probably one of the best, like, low level uh, weapon mods you could get. Let's do this. Please crit. Oh, nice. So that frees up only one soldier back here, actually. But. They're not likely to be able to do anything. I could get uh, Yatu to throw a flashbang, perhaps. In any case, I think... Well, I was going to say this is where I'm going to move Yatu to, but... How is that door closed? Wait, when the, when the officer walked through here, they walked through this door without opening it? Or did they, like, climb over? Maybe they climbed over and it rendered weird. Because for some reason these doors weren't open. Does 99% overflow to nil? Yes. Yeah, there's a small chance we'll get flanked by something, like, next turn. But this is literally our tankiest character, Yatuwatu. Uh, and also we're already looking at most of the enemies on the map. So I think it'll probably be fine. I couldn't even... Oh, I could. If we find the pixel. I could scratch up the engineer, um, but that's like... the least threatening enemy. Uh, we can only flashbang the engineer and the soon-dead trooper. Regardless, though. Um, I don't love having to move Rorosaur in here with his three health, but, well, I was going to say he's like the only one in the pos in position to execute this guy, but that's not true. 61 aim on Moreno, though. Uh, I think we're going to flashbang the sentry, because we're not going to be able to clear them in one. Freeman is not going to have a flank shot without leaving himself exposed. Oh, we can't actually flashbang. Oh. We can't flashbang two of them if we hit the sentry? Really? That is unfortunate. Okay, I think we have to kill these two, probably flashbang the sentry, and leave the engineer either uncontrolled or flashbanged. Um, but we may as well take this flank shot on the sentry. What's over there? I did not have high expectations. Four health means we have to... A mineral, a mineral, a graze, or a miss is a fail. Maybe I should just kill or try to kill the engineer. There's actually a good chance because of the engineer's health he doesn't die. The engineer... 3 to 4 damage, even with a crit. I'm really not worried about the engineer. Let's try for the sentry. We could grenade the sentry. Hit him with the edge of the grenade, try not to destroy the corpse. How many more actions do we have? One, two, three, four. We've still got our sniper. That's actually great. Okay. 
I'm thinking... I'm thinking we just kill everything. Hopefully. What's your aim? 61. I think... Poor health. Alright, let's try for this, the gunner. 90%. 5 health though. And the good luck continues. Alright. In that case... Um... I'm pretty sure even with Shadow... Actually... Let's blow Shadow and see if we can get... a flank shot on the sentry. We're gonna have to immediately lose our stealth and be left in the open. But I think it's gonna be worth it. Because nothing compares to the accuracy of this rifle at this stage of the game. Ooh. Okay. Three damage. So we could take a 72 on the sentry. Uh, we still need to execute this guy. I'm doing this because I want to. Freeman can barely get there. We may as well do that. We're basically going all in on clearing. Well, not quite clearing. I think we kill the sentry. Oh yeah, we've still got this 72. I think we take it. I thought it missed for a second there. Alright, this is actually really good. Now the only question is... It's actually no question at all. We can flashbang. I can't scratch the en engineer without hurting my own dudes anymore. Same goes for flashbanging, but... We can hope for a max roll or crit at point blank. Any Anything but 3 to 4 damage. Let's go. Nice. Okay. Uh, one overwatch. There's probably like 2 or 3 enemies left and they should be a pretty weak pod. Unfortunately we wasted our shadow for now so we can't look around with stealth in the meantime. Um... I would love to get up here with Overwatch on the sniper rifle, but it could activate. I also really want this loot, which is a similar risk, but I think that's worth. Whatever you say. I've got the thing. Okay. Finally, a game I understand. Uh, Yok, Yok MP, Yokum. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, alright, I'm gonna be careful for one more turn. Oh, did we find them? No? Why did it pause so much? Let's get everyone into Overwatch. Next turn we'll reload. And... Honestly, uh, resist the urge to open the door. I'm just going to have you reload. It's possible we'll find something if I move over there. And you know what? Just uh, overwatch, actually. So now we're going to get everyone to reload. Uh, let's open this door, actually. Little risk that we lose some actions that way. But we probably should have heard something if anything was close enough. Now we know where they are. 
Good thing I... Probably a good thing I didn't... Uh, I, I resisted the urge to come up here to peek. Glacier Wolf. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, I have a... I have a little plan I would like to try. That makes no smashy, smashy. Create some noise. Uh, I was considering throwing a grenade. Actually, it didn't... It smashed the window, but we didn't see the warning that it would make sound, so I don't know if it's going to count. Um, but regardless, I want to try to make some noise and then pull them in here. Into a whole lot of Overwatch... Hmm. There aren't too many good spots. Let's try getting you back here. And... Move you two up. What was that? It was like a mannequin sitting here when it rendered for a second. Scanning. My watch begins. I'm ready. I'm ready. And probably just stay there. If they don't run in this time, uh, I'm going to toss a grenade and try to pull them over here. Moreno's got bad aim, so you're the worst candidate Get ready for, a for an overwatch shot. And that should probably do it. This kind of pew pew is more my speed. Indeed. If they don't come in in the next couple of turns, I'll probably pop shadow and try and have a peek. One more. I don't think they're coming. Alright, let's pop Shadow. We can actually blue move to here. This is ridiculously overpowered stealth, by the way. Uh, they literally have to walk, like, right next to the Reaper to spot them. But we only get two to up. We found them. That's not a glitch. For some reason, the Reapers can detect enemies through walls. Um, so it's actually just one Sectoid and a Trooper that we've got left to deal with. And we can see exactly where we can go without waking them up. So I think what we'll do here is... Who's got the best aim that can get there? Freeman. And someone else can hopefully blue move up here as well. With height advantage and heavy cover. 64 aim is not terrible. Alright. All right, Let's get you to... Whoops. Up here. Ah. On Overwatch. Um, let's see. Do we have someone with good mobility but low aim? Moreno is precisely that. Moreno's gonna get right up in their face. Um, and I don't think we'll have anyone go around this way. Then again, Yatu can only get, like, barely over to this wall, so it's probably fine. We'll have Yatu maybe get ready for a flank. And... Well, let's check line of sight here. They're going to barely step out here if they're going this way. Before they see someone, so it's not like... 
It's not like this makes a difference. And Lazic, please move up to the low cover. Rarasaur, please move up to the low cover. They're not moving? Oh, they are moving. Straight through the wall, four damage, five damage. Nicely done. This couldn't have gone more smoothly. Oh, Overwatch, you say. Okay. Oh, we've still got Shadow. So we can literally just walk right up to this guy. And knife him in the face. And crit for the end. Flawless opening, not bad. Even now, and we got every single corpse as well. To destroy all we have and the loot. To return us to the chaos of the old world. Literally couldn't have got a better opening than that. Okay. We got a laser sight. Which is pretty meh, to be honest. Auto loader is really, really good. Probably the best low level uh, weapon mod there is. Focus and conditioning less exciting. 25 supplies, nice. Seven, cor uh, seven trooper corpses. Sectoid corpse, officer corpse, two officers. I don't remember killing two officers. Oh, did we just clap a second officer from that? No, I thought there's one officer for this mission. Maybe it got clapped in Overwatch and I didn't even notice. The aliens will always tell you otherwise, but this is the true voice of the Resistance, bringing you the real news about the latest victory over the invaders. We're getting stronger every day, and XCOM... Is Thank you, Resistance Radio. Uh, alright, so... Yes, sh shut up, Central. Oh, that volume. Sorry, I should have said volume warning for that. I forgot. So we got a whole lot of promotions to give out. Let's get rid of this little nag first. We've got research to be done. Uh, I think I'd like to go with modular weapons first. I do find that area of research to be a and... Engineering. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. Uh, we can't build anything very interesting just yet. Alright, this is the part where we pray that we don't get uh, the lowest aim person going for sharpshooter and the slowest person going for sword person and everything like that. So, good luck. Yatu Watu. Uh, yes, we know there are pistol abilities. Assault with pretty bog... Uh, kind of slow. That's actually bad for assault, but with the run and gun, it kind of makes up for it. Kind of. Uh, pretty much bog standard aim, that's fine. I mean, terrible aim is fine for an assault, honestly. This could be worse. Yatu Watu wants to bond with Stardust Nebula. Let's see. Stardust is a sniper with uh, just kind of okay aim for a sniper. Could be worse. Uh, decent mobility. Almost, uh, almost the worst health. Uh, bad dodge. This is okay. Combat intelligence high, and for bonus abilities, you're able to get cool under pressure. That's actually excellent. And Avenger. So, plus 10 aim on reaction shots, and they can crit, plus long watch. That does stack together. Shredder. Aim assist on a sharpshooter, 
the very class that does the targeting would be good. Um, I've never, I've never considered going rapid targeting on anything but the worst aim sharpshooter before. Uh, so the sharpshooters have a hollow targeter that can buff the aim of themselves and everyone else. Uh, this this one lets us have a free action version of it. So I think the default one is like plus 10 aim. It's 30 ability points though. It stacks, stacks another 15 aim and crit. And we're definitely not often going to be able to stack that with the reaction fire. I think we'll just go like a standard long-range sharpshooter with Yatu. Uh, with cool under pressure. And maybe... Well, I was going to say maybe Avenger, but that's actually... It doesn't work at squad sight range, I'm pretty sure. Um, so that would only really be good on a, on a snapshot. Staying on the ground with the other troopers. Uh, but yeah. Definitely not too bad. Uh, tentative, whoops. Tentatively, we'll go with Death from Above, Damn Good Ground, Lone Wolf, Long Watch, probably Aggression. More crit chance with our crit reaction shots. Uh, pretty much always Hunter's Instincts. More damage if they're flanked. And plus four damage. That is the plan. So it was an assault and a sharpshooter being bonded. That is not the best combination. They're not often going to be in range to, to buff each other, basically. So I think we'll probably wait for them to be compatible to bond with someone else. Uh, Yatu's got high combat intelligence. Lone Wolf is actually really, really good for an assault. Plus defense and aim if you're far away from teammates. Uh, deep cover, not so much. Resilience, good, but it shouldn't be that expensive. Implacable is actually huge. If you score one or more kills on your turn, you're granted a single bonus move. On a class that rushes in and deals massive damage to something at point blank and is then left exposed, uh, that's actually huge. Although, even with the high combat intelligence, whether or not we get to the point where we're going to spend our 40 ability points on that, we'll have to see. Uh, who else have we got? Lazik is a gunner. A gunner with terrible terrible mobility and good aim. So really role-playing the giant machine gun. Uh, hopefully we could get some kind of perk that increases movement. Doesn't look like it. Kills with your primary ammo restore one, uh, prim primary weapon restore one ammo. That can actually be huge on a gunner. Getting multiple shots with uh, area suppression or kill zone. A evil plot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um. Low profile is always good, especially for only 20 points. Damn good ground is great, especially for only 10. Although it's more situational than low profile. Uh, you've got 5 health and 7 dodge as well. Really good gunner, just bad mobility. We'll probably end up buffing mobility for Lazik uh, to make, make up for his one downside. Lazik wants to bond with Svetlana. Svetlana is a specialist. That'll work. Uh, a specialist with bog standard aim. 46 hack on a squatty. Is that good? I can't remember. I 
can't remember how much we should expect on a squatty specialist. I think that's actually bad. Uh, we should probably go with, like, some other kind of support. Mobility's pretty bad as well. I don't really want to make Svetlana a shooter. Uh, so that being the case, we'll probably go for, like, combat protocol interference medical I could do even more medical or I could do airdrop haven't actually decided despite the bad hacking we could go fail safe so we could just have some may as well try kind of hacks I don't think healing extra when we do heal is gonna be relevant very often um, but all of these are kind of sketch, considering our stats and stuff. I'll just plan it as far as that for now. Uh, next we've got Rorosaur. Great aim, terrible mobility, heavy weapon. Uh, technical. That is... Hmm. So I'm thinking maybe... God, the mobility and health really suck. But the rest is... The, the aim is so good. Uh, Maybe I'll just have you be a... Well, let's look at your other stats here. Sh light them up. Yeah. Light him up, return fire. Crits with your primary weapon, so not rockets. Have a chance to panic enemies. Uh, but this is actually really good. Plus 20 aim and crit. Oh, that's for first shot only. Even so, given the stats and the bonus skills, uh, I think for Rorosaur we're going to be going explosions all the way. Long range rockets, rocket and then shoot. I uh, haven't decided on the last one, probably rapid fire. We're definitely getting light em up. That's top priority for the bonus skills. And very high combat intelligence, that's good too. So we'll probably... Uh, we need to buff health and mobility on Rorosaur when we get the opportunity. That's going to be a problem. Uh, Rorosaur doesn't have enough cohesion to bond with anyone yet. We've got... Moreno. Kind of bad aim for a ranger. Steady hands is pretty good, though. Oh, Predator. That's huge. If we can get there. Average combat intelligence, 30 points. Uh, plus 15 aim and crit against enemies that are flanked. That applies to the three reaction shots that we can get per turn. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll definitely be going ever vigilant reaction fire with Moreno. Your ranged attacks have 10 aim and crit if you have moved this turn. That's weird. Hold up. So we have steady hands. If you did not move last turn, plus aim, plus 10 aim, plus 10 crit. Your ranged attacks gain, uh, attacks gain 10 aim and crit if you moved this turn. <laughs> it would be 40 points to get these two, but you could like sit still last turn and then move this turn and have plus 20 aim and crit. That's ridiculous. Shadow Strike for only 10? Uh, plus 50 aim and crit? I could definitely see Moreno opening uh, opening up an ambush occasionally. 
really good mobility as well, and not bad health. So that's kind of interesting. All right, uh, what bonds are we going with? The sharpshooter and the assault is not happening. Does the assault like anyone else? Not yet. Uh, gunner and specialist? I think I said that's fine already. Yeah. So that's uh, Svetlana and Lazik. And one more promotion. A grenadier. With 14 mobility. Oh, that, that hurts. That hurts my soul. I think we'll have... Uh, we might just make this one a haven advisor. Lethal, hunter instincts, high aim. Really wants to be a shooter. But instead we've got a Grenadier with low mobility. I could boost the mobility later on. I think I'll have to. Um, but we'll, we'll come back to that later. Alright, so that's all of our starting troopers. We've got our research in motion. Oh, can we do... We can assign our... Grenadier Haven Advisor from here. Fantastic. Okay. Let's jump into... Commander. Uh, we don't want to go to the black market just yet. The first thing we want to do... We don't rely on the alien's technology. Stop talking, we please. Never live in their cities. We are the hunters. Can, can you finish talking, please? And we won't oh my god. Until the last could, could you speak any slower, sir? Thank you. Alright, so we're maxed out on intel with our resistance recruits. Well, not recruits, uh, resistance members. Uh, we're looking for a mission. And I'm not going to go to the mission until... Uh, I'm not going to go to the black market until we can gear it up. Because it takes time to infiltrate. Okay, we got seven days. That's fantastic. Smash and grab. That's also great. Uh, for this stage of the game. Grabbing supplies. Very important. We need someone who... Oh, we haven't up... We haven't promoted the... Uh, the snipey sniper yet. So, it's actually just a squaddy though. So there aren't any promotions to give it. I'll definitely be picking uh, the plus one mobility five aim. Since we're stuck with 13 to start with. Rapid reaction? Okay, we'll definitely be going for a shooter. For this one. I'm not totally sold on Serial, it's actually pretty situational, and Ghost Grenade is amazing, but we'll see. Uh, probably Cheap Shot, definitely Banish, just keep shooting until you run out of ammo. Light him up, Death from Above. Combat Intelligence high, so I could probably grab Steady Hands early on as well. And your grazing attacks are upgraded to normal hits. We don't have grazing uh, grazing fire though. Soul harvest? Plus 10 crit each kill adds plus 4 crit chance for a maximum of plus 20. Damn. Anyway, uh, we don't start this mission concealed, so we definitely want... Someone who can get stealth. And come to think of it, we didn't get a single shinobi. Uh, so this is our only option for someone who can be unseen for at least two turns. Dilka? 
Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We can't equip, uh, until the research is done, we can't actually equip weapon accessories. Okay, we need people who are fast. Which we basically don't have. Well, we've got the ranger. The ranger is very fast. Uh, Moreno. If I go with the SMG... Uh, Mor Morozova can be fast. And... Oh, I forgot. You're a squatty. You don't even have the combat protocol yet. Uh, what does this even offer us? Just... Potentially hacking a drone and aid protocol. There's not going to be anything to hack on this mission. Oh, we've got seven days, though, so we should be... Baseline activity, extremely light, seven days. So we should be able to take, like... Basically as many people as we like. I might take some rookies if we've got... We've got one fast one with atrocious aim. So you can be, like, a rookie grenadier. Let's just go double grenade, even. Um, the technical... I don't know about that. 13 mobility for a smash and grab? Not so good. A uh, squatty sharpshooter? Really bad for this. The assault... The mobility hurts, but with run and gun, it's not so bad. At least for one turn. Uh, and I think, I think we're going to fill out the rest with rookies, to be honest. But everyone is so slow. Look at this. 15 is normal. And we've got, like, 1, 2, 3, 4 rookies out of the ones we haven't, um, picked yet that have average or better mobility. made food and back. How's this thing work? Uh, that's a long story. <laughs> but basically we are gearing up for our second mission. And lamenting the terrible mobility most of our soldiers have. Uh, one more rookie. Let's go for the fastest one we've got. 16. Okay, so we got... Well, since three of them are taking grenades, I'll have all of them have one grenade, one flashbang. So the rookies on the SMGs holding grenades. We got... Watu with... I could take the armor off for a bit of extra mobility. Uh, it's sketchy. But five health at this stage is pretty good. Nah, we're not going to be that risky. Alright, that's actually perfect. Seven days, four hours for max infiltration. Off you go. And we'll use more of our A-team on the next mission. Unless it's a mission that requires a lot of mobility. There's our modular weapons. And we should probably research... How much intel do we have? You know what, I don't even want to pay the intel for this yet. Oh, we... I forgot, you actually do have to research that in order to... Oh, sh shut up, Central. We'll need to seek out new means of replenishing our resources. You don't say. Well Alright. We do actually have to research that before we can unlock another region. Now, if Tygen would just stop talking. Uh, we're looking for the second mission. I want to gear that up. Because the Avenger scanning, I think, counts for like four people working on intel. Um, some missions have unique modifiers and special conditions. What do we got? 
large map. Very interesting. Not. We're going to do a jailbreak with a rookie resistance personnel times two. Is that it? Well, whatever the case, seven days to infiltrate, extremely light. Uh, baseline activity. We'll take every training mission we can get right now. So, for now, I'm not going to have Rosso carrying a proper gun. Uh, this will give him plus two mobility and a smaller detection radius. We're going to have him try and creep right up on the enemy and set them on fire. Uh, gunner is... There's not much to say about... Oh, we'll, we'll take the autoloader for the gunner. And what else? Autoloader for Lazic. Oh, Lazic's tired still. Hold up, who else is tired? You've only got 16 will? Yikes. Um, in that case, maybe... Maybe we'll take some other people for now. Uh, so we're going to want a hacker, definitely. Uh, this is probably a mission where we could get away with using a sniper. And the rest is going to be rookies because Lazic needs his beauty sleep. Okay. Uh, how about... I already picked all the good rookies. Like, the rookies with enough mobility. I guess... I guess we're dipping into the ones with 14 mobility now. Oh, we've got one with 15. Alright, double grenade SMG for you. Maybe I should take a rookie or two with high aim and just give them a normal gun. Depends how many people we can fit. I think the laser sight can go to the sniper this time. Uh, and then... Another 74 aim? The trouble with this is I risk them picking a class where their good aim is going to go to waste. Like, really, I should wait until we have the facility to train them to something specific. Sharpshooter. So let's go with... Rodriguez, with grenades. And... I think that's our last normal speed person. So I'll take someone with, like, bog-standard aim, so that we can make use of them no matter what class they become. Alright, so three rookies. Uh, specialist also has grenades. Sniper and technical. It's probably going to be fine. Probably. Okay. Sky Ranger in position to drop. If we find another mission... <laughs> I was going to say, if we find another mission, we're not going to be able to gear it up. That's Liberation 1. Uh... Um... Resistance personnel, resistance personnel... It's actually a really... I should probably abort this mission. Sky Ranger deployed. After all that, we're going to take the exact same squad on this mission instead. Uh, we'll probably have to boost it, but that's okay. Getting an early start on the Liberation line is a pretty big deal. So once again, Specialist... I'm tempted to risk sending Lazic out, um, and he might panic 
if things go badly, or he might get, uh, even if things go well, if he goes out with tired, he might come back with, like, uh, a, a mental problem. But this mission is really important. Probably just one rookie with grenades as well. Let's see. Ruiz? We got two people with grenades. Uh, it only takes three days, 20 hours to reach maximum. We're going to be net positive on intel if we pay intel to boost this. Which we're going to have to. That's only going to get it to 104%, but that should be fine. Okay. That's it. Off you go. I might have considered it uh, staying on the other mission if it was going to reward more people, but this is way more important. So we're going to run out of time when infiltration's at 69%, but the boost... Uh, applies retroactively. Um, so as long as it gets to 69%, as long as Advent doesn't move more troops in before we finish infiltrating, we'll be doing that mission. I forgot I was going to change it. Now that we couldn't take a new mission even if we found it, uh, I want everyone off of intel and gathering supplies. I could do a bit of recruiting as well, I guess. But the Haven Advisor recruits automatically. Then again, the sooner... The sooner we get a lot of people, the better, right? Let's go half and half for now. Alright, black market time. What can we sell? Nothing. I could sell a Focus, but it's only worth... It's so cheap that it's not even worth selling. Uh, I should actually give the PCS Focus to, um... To our Gunner. Because I've never seen Will this low. 16 on Lazic. Whereas... Where is it? Plus 13. We're almost going to double Lazic's Will with a PCS. But then we can't give him speed. They seem like a big draw for the cities right now. As long as you're compliant. All right, what do we got? Shinobi? For many people that's hardly a consideration. I I think we have to buy the Shinobi. I'm beginning to see the appeal. I'll probably take the Shinobi and the engineer. Uh I don't know how we missed getting a Shinobi so far, but they're very important. To be able to look ahead without without activating enemy squads. Uh, and I think it's probably worth paying for an early engineer. In fact, it's definitely worth paying for an early engineer. It'll never be cheaper. And the engineer kind of pays for itself by digging out these... Uh, like getting... We get supplies from digging out this debris. Uh, it does mean... I should have thought of this already. I didn't even realize I had the option to build stuff yet. But it does mean we're not building, for example, the resistance ring just yet. This will only take eight days, though. We'll get, uh, 45 supplies. And we'll... 45 and 36. We'll have just enough to build the resistance ring after that. Seems a good. I think that's worth getting an early engineer anyway. If I had total information to start with, I would have gone with that. Setting course for the Arctic. So is time just passing? Yeah, we've we've set everything up now, and we've got squads infiltrating. Now some time passes, and we're ready to go with the next mission. Smash and grab.
with three rookies and three of our so-called A-team. Definitely our best soldier is going to be the, the Reaper for the moment. The supplies are good, if we can pull this off, but I'm more interested in getting some XP for our soldiers at the moment. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and the evac is way over on the other side. Uh, that's kind of terrifying. We, we have a very long way to go to get to the evac. Uh, reinforcements arrive in 12 turns. That's actually fine. So I'm going to go straight into shadow here and run pretty much as far as we can, trying to spot the enemy. I think I'll stick to the right, if at all possible, um, because if things are looking bad, we want to try and avoid and get out of here. Covering ground. And we see nothing. Uh, that's kind of good. There's a really, really small chance if I run to this spot that someone is one tile out of sight right now. Uh, and that would be a complete disaster because it's a massive tempo shift whenever enemies spot you. But at the same time, there's like no... Oh, I could use this for cover... But at the same time, we have to hurry up. Everything's a risk. We have to pick which risk we're going to take. I think there's a much better chance, uh, if we hang around up here, of being spotted from this direction than if we head over this way. So we'll start with that. And wait for the camera to jolt, perhaps? No, we're good. Roger that. Oh, your mobility really does suck. Getting it done. All right, so next turn we move our Reaper up this way, probably. Oh, I was right. So at the end of... I think it's the end of the next enemy turn. Uh, this guy's going to get revealed. And that's the only stealth we have. Uh, and then we're going to be missing it for like three turns. Sigma Bean, thank you. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you very much for the seven months. Much appreciated. Uh, so now we're turn-based? Yeah, it's like... Uh, like Darkest Dungeon, how there's two games that you play, right? One is strategic and the other other is tactical. That's the end of my three September sub. No worries. I, I, I appreciate it regardless. Thank you very much. One option I do have is to throw a knife at them. Um, because it actually stays in shadow. And then the enemy's probably going to run this way. Uh, a small chance of running right over him and revealing him, which is bad. I don't think I can attack them this turn and get, like, good follow-up from everyone else. At all. So I think the play is probably to avoid them for the moment. Alternatively, I could... Well, no, I couldn't. I can shoot at more than normal range uh, with this weapon, but there's no one else to spot. 
So I think I think the way to go for the moment is to just stay out of sight. It, with any luck, we'll be able to set everyone up on this roof, and maybe maybe the enemy will walk into Overwatch. I doubt it's going to go that smoothly though. If I go here, it's definitely a risk of activating over that way. Um, if something were to pop up over this roof somehow, our rookie would be exposed, but I think that's very unlikely. Will do. And these two can't even really get on the roof, so I think... Oh, of course. Almost every structure in this game has a million windows to look through. So it's not like we can really hide on this side. Uh, despite appearances, we can't hide here either, because even... Even when you want to hide, uh, the troops are always... If there's cover, they're effectively in three tiles at once. They're peeking out here and here um, to take shots from cover. So I can't hide here at all. If I go close to these civilians, they'll run and yell, which will pull the enemy over in pretty short order. I could hide from this angle behind this door, I guess. If something comes over here, they'll be flanked, but... That might be the risk I have to pick. Considering how far Yatu can't run, I think this will have to do regardless. And considering the line of sight... Oh, I forgot. This person's going to be revealed anyway. May as well put you here. And I, I saw them for just a moment over that way. So we have no stealth for two more turns at least. I think we just have to start moving forward and hoping for the best. Let's see if we can't get get them to pull over a certain direction if they spot us, so the others can react. That was maybe a bit too risky, actually. Alright, how far can we see? I think we'll move everyone else up to the roof. And hope for the best. I think we're good. That is... The visual glitch is telling us exactly where the enemy is. That is terrifyingly close. Long War has free cam. Uh, the free cam is from a mod. Nick Stark, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rayclaw, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome also. Um, Yatu... It might be better if if there weren't a million windows over here. Uh, I, I think we'll just... I don't want you here because you're not going to do anything from there with your shotgun. Off. Okay. And I think we'll bring our sniper over here. They might spot us this turn. Hopefully the sectoid is leaving. It looks like they are. One more turn until we can activate shadow. I do want to get closer to the evac. Not to mention a little closer to the, the loot. This is dangerous, but so is everything. 
we could possibly do or not do. On your order. So far, so good. Um, if we're going to be spotted by someone over here at some point, I think I'd like to do it now. While we could get a sniper shot, perhaps. On the move. Okay, that's really good news. Let's get everyone over there as far as possible. Maybe not that far. That's tempting fate. No need to ask twice. How far can Yatu go? This is the this is the extent of it. Okay, two more to go, how about over here, and over here, and we're good. I understand. So now we're getting closer to the beginning of what this mission would normally look like. Albeit a little bit closer to the loot. And we've got Shadow back. Let's make the most of it. That looks like an amazing spot to get a view. And we see absolutely nothing. Lucky. Okay. Um, we could still spot something if we go like here. This should be safe. I'd really like to attack something next turn. You lot with the SMGs don't need line of sight. Yard 2 can go out here. I'm a bit concerned about line of sight from here. That should be okay. And over here. Oh. They're close. Right about th right about here-ish. Alright. I definitely want eyes on them. Oak says I am to obey. The invaders send One, two, call. three different pods. One, two, three, four, five that I know of out of a possible nine. Minimum seven. I definitely don't want to activate all three of those squads at the same time. So, I think... Okay, this is a bit of a risk. Um, but the tempo that we could gain from it is pretty big. Uh, there's... I, I think if we do find something up here, it's going to be like a single drone or something close to that. And considering the position... I think that's worth the risk. And now we know there's nothing on the roof. And we can get loot next turn. We, if we get at least one of these, it counts as a win. For the precious XP, which is the main reason we came here, really. Um, I don't think it's safe to try and squeeze in here. I'm sure of it, actually. There's going to be an enemy standing, like, here or here or something that's going to have line of sight. So I'm thinking... Even though it's a little further from the loot, let's get everyone in over this way. And also, they might hear something through the walls next turn. Now to can go over here. Maximize the chances of being able to run up to someone's face next turn. Um, and every spot is just a little sketchy for Sally. But I th think 
this will do. Alright, let's get you out of there. I don't really want to spend a whole extra turn going back this way. If they detect us from this angle at this moment, it's really not that bad. That's good information. Squad with the uh, officer has left. Uh, I think if we take the loot, it probably puts them on alert or something. I could just win the mission. We could just take this loot and run. No wounds, everyone gets XP. We don't get much in terms of loot. But we're not in that awkward or dangerous of a position. Just the lack of stealth is really the biggest issue. But also, if I do spot enemies here, we're just not going to have the tools to deal with them. Especially without... Uh, without waking up something else. I think what we'll do right now you say. is takey the loot move people forward a bit Heading out. on second thought I don't value your SMG reaction shot as much as getting that loot right now we're not going to poke our heads through here just yet let's get our assault up on the middle of the roof, where he should be able to rush in and shoot anyone in the face. Uh, and this one's a little bit awkward. I think I'd just like to keep you here, to be honest. And as for our sniper... Uh, I want to put you where you're going to have the most options. Probably about here. Come get some. And if we want to be super safe, we could still leave with two. Here we go. Officer, engineer, and a trooper. Trooper on Overwatch. Uh, I see four people now, though. Oh, there's a sector. Okay. There's no way we can fight this squad without waking up the next one. Hmm. We've got stealth next turn. I could pop down here and snipe. I, I could get a flank shot and almost definitely kill the trooper from behind heavy cover. That won't actually trigger the overwatch. You need to run through uh, a couple of tiles to trigger overwatch fire. I'm sure it's going to... It's almost definitely going to wake up this pod. But it might be worth... They might not even see him. Uh, I think this is the way to go. I could run and gun and shoot the officer in the face, but it's not even going to kill him unless we max roll crit. Or almost max roll crit. I think I'd rather stay at a distance where the officer can't do anything for one turn. Alternatively, we could take the loot and run. There's only... Well, there's actually four more loot to get if we can clear everything. We've only got five turns left, though, because we started 600,000 kilometers away. We could maybe grab a little bit of XP. 
Oh, we can't actually... Yes, we can. We can see him. And it doesn't wake up the other pod. Oh, that sucks. Didn't even get him. Uh, okay. Can we get another... I, I believe we can get one more loot and a shot on this guy without waking up the other group. Just barely. It's hard to see. Yeah. Well, let's find out. We take either loot. I actually can't do that right now. Oh, you've already got loot. Oh, that was slightly dumb. But this is the best the the best chance to get the shot regardless. It's only 68% though. Alright, so far very good. Can we do anything else without making ourselves vulnerable this turn? Uh, I don't really think so. A anywhere we go to try and like... Oh, maybe through here. Nah, we're gonna get seen. I think I'd like our rookie to potentially grenade the officer next turn. And we can have Yatu finish it off. No Other rookie, kind of the same thing, but if you go anywhere, you're just gonna potentially get one shot. Uh, how much damage can he do? Seven maximum, theoretically. Okay, I think I want ya to... Like, over here... Ish. How much... How far can the officer move? Not very. Yeah, let's get ya to even closer. Uh, preferably without waking up the enemy. Out. S. Jones, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I think we'll just stay here with this rookie. Um, looks like I can get them closer to the window without being in danger, though. So we'll try that. Uh, and we've got one more rookie. Probably do the same thing. I kind of want him to take that loot, but that's way too greedy. If we could squeeze in here without waking up the enemy, that would be amazing. But unfortunately, they cannot not peek. So I think we'll go... Uh, close to the window I'm you here. with you as well. Alright, officer... I think double moved. Sectoid's gonna raise a zombie. No respite for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. That is the most gloriously cheesy line ever. Oh, the officer's back. That could be a problem. They didn't get any free shots, though, luckily. They they could have. I don't know if they have to spot them flanked to start with, or they could have moved from here, seen them with a flank, and got a free shot there. But that could have been a very, very bad. So, I think... Uh, I think the Sectoid and the Engineer still haven't seen us, and when they do, they're going to get free movement. So we can't count on walking up to them and shooting them in the face. Uh, the officer, on the other hand, we can absolutely count on with that. But seven damage is a bit high for one shot. Ooh, can we grenade through the window? 
Yes, no, kind of, maybe. Pixel hunt. We can grenade the sectoid. I'm more interested in the officer. The sectoid can mess us up, but not with direct damage. And we can al always clear the sectoid's nonsense with a flashbang. Of course I am doing well, it's my birthday. Nice, nice. Happy birthday to you. We can get a grin on the officer from here, I think. And it'll make the sectoid move and we'll know where they are. Where they're going to be. I think that's probably the way to go. Stand next to the officer. Never mind. Grenade doesn't quite reach. I could flashbang both of them. But I'd really prefer to kill the officer outright. Um, I could go for a couple of flank shots on the officer. One with the shotgun. Oh, if I flashbang the sectoid, the zombie dies, so that's definitely worth thinking about. Um, our Reaper, I'm thinking... I either want to move somewhere to snipe something, but I don't think we can. Or go into shadow and start abusing knives. Probably the knives. And if these two can't see the Reaper... They're probably going to waste their next turn double moving, looking for people. Oh, except they can see this guy. So Anna definitely has to move. Anna could actually one-shot the sectoid. With both barrels. I think we do that. But I ha if I do do that, I have to clear these two, like 100%. Preview movement. These two won't be able to get a shot on Anna. So we insta kill the sectoid. The zombie is gone. We've got a shotgun in the face plus an SMG to kill the officer. And then I'm not too terrified of an engineer. To be honest. I can handle that. As long as we don't wake up something else. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six enemies. Yeah, there's up to three more. Uh, or up to two more, I should say, because we killed this one. Can't even graze. This is guaranteed. Fantastic. I could have risked it just to save one shot of the double barrel shotgun, but there's absolutely no reason to do that. I could take a 44%. To get that little bit of extra damage on the officer to guarantee the shotgun. But this guy can go in and finish him off. If it comes to that. Then again, what am I going to do with uh, Wagner regardless? After that single move, I can't hit with the grenade. Uh, I can only flashbang. And if we've got the actions to execute the officer, I think we should just risk this 44. And it's a miss. Okay. Let's find out how much damage our shotgun is going to do. I could stun instead if it's bad enough, but we've got a 55% chance on crit. If it does crit, we'd have to min roll to not kill him. And we can't quite kill him if we do crit, uh, if we don't crit. But the SMG can tickle him to death. As long as it doesn't miss. Let's find out our odds of this shot. Oh, there's also another rookie up here, I forgot. So we should be fine. 93%. Tickle the officer. Fantastic. Good job. And this is almost a guarantee. 
And it didn't even matter. Eight damage. Okay, so I think... We're definitely going into shadow. Darkness is my domain. Uh, then one thing I could do is get on the other side of these guys, and they're just going to chase in that general direction. And then we could shoot them in the back. I can even run right past them like this. I think that's the way to go. Oh, and we gained some valuable information. The sectoid and the trooper from before are still there. Right near where we started. Which means we can move freely over here without worrying about, uh, about what those two are going to do. As long as they don't find one of my troops with a single move. I, d I don't want to, I don't want to even give them a shot. So I'm thinking about here. And I might just risk a grenade. It can do five damage. So can the SMG technically, but there's a chance for a graze or a complete miss here. There's a chance we'll lose some loot if it kills him outright. Which it doesn't. And he'll probably run and use a flashbang or something. Probably won't even deal any damage. Yep, flashbang. It's going to be quite the big flashbang though. No, only two. Uh-oh. Ooh. Straight through the wall. That's why we try not to give them shots. Uh, luckily it hit our tankiest rookie. Although it does have... Uh, Alice does have negative nine dodge. Um, run and gun. We're way too far away. Especially with disorientation. These two will be basically useless for one more turn. We can blow up this thing. Probably killing the sectoid. But I don't think that's worth. What I really need... How much damage can this do? 3 to 5 plus 3. I could execute... Well, not quite execute. Probably kill the sentry. But we'd be revealed... For this lot. A knife... I was going to say, a knife doesn't do 6 damage. Uh, 2 to 3 plus 2. With a high chance of crit. And it won't reveal the Reaper until after the enemy turn. So I think we're going to go with that. And even if it doesn't kill him, it'll clear the Overwatch. Nice camera angle. Alright, so now these guys can move. I won't say safely, because there's still an officer over here, but... Much more safely than before. Um, I could maybe get our injured troop to grab the loot and start running away. Seems like a good idea. We do still have to finish off this engineer... Where can the officer go? Pretty much anywhere he likes, as far as we're concerned right now. Oh, well, then again. This is actually a wall. Can he get line of sight on this spot? I don't think he can. Alright, let's try it. Eighty-six percent. Don't miss. You missed. I might have to waste a grenade on this one. These two can't use... Oh, you actually can use a stun pistol. While you're disoriented, but... 
it, it doesn't have a good chance even if we move. And we don't have the perk so that it at least disorients if it misses. Uh, I do have a grenade left on this rookie. If Ursula can make it that far. Let's see. From here you can throw how many tiles? Like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I guess. If I go here, I'm scared that the uh, the big server rack or whatever this is is going to block the grenade. I don't want to jump out in the open. Then again, it's not like anyone can get line of sight. Or can they? Uh, the officer might. How about here? Tired of waiting around. And a grenade. Fantastic. Uh, Alice actually already has loot, so just start running. Where's the safest way to run? Probably here. Good to go. And rookie grenade. Give us one damage. Loot destroyed. Unfortunate. I don't think we can pick that up while we're disoriented. So that loot's going to be gone as well. Uh, we've only got our two disoriented people left. I could put one in place to pick up loot, but they're going to get shot at by the officer next turn. Unless? No, I think... Well... I don't actually see a way for the officer to get line of, line of sight on this tile. I think... He could climb. I think that might... It's, it's difficult sometimes to find out. I don't think it's worth the risk. If we kill them next turn, uh, we get what we came for regardless. I don't mind moving up and hunkering. On the move. Hunker down. Holding. Very unlikely to take damage from that. The officer will probably mark it instead, because he doesn't have a good enough shot. Uh, and we'll get our other disoriented person up this Location way. Confirmed. I thought he had a shot for a second there. Like, if there was some weird line of sight through this. Okay, where's our... a Reaper? Casual 92%. This is actually not too close. I would have thought we'd get a penalty for weapon range here. Uh, but this is fine. I can't move up without risking the overwatch shot. Uh, I'm scared if I stay here, we're going to get spotted by the sectoid and trooper next turn, but they're really not that dangerous, even if they do. I could use the knife, so we don't get a lot of sound. We're not going to kill him in one go anyway. 3 to 5 plus 3. Okay, theoretically we could kill him in one go, but it's not likely. Uh, Yatu should be able to run up and execute him after we tickle him. So I think we'll do that. The knife actually has a better chance to hit anyway. Let's reload before we do it, since this is turn ending. 
You missed the 95%. Okay. Um... Can anyone get a flashbang in range? Or you could run the overwatch. That's that's not cover. Uh, we could maybe... I have my doubts as to whether we can flashbang from here down to here. If that was cover, I would seriously consider running the overwatch like this, whereby uh, Sally would have cover while running through, triggering the reaction fire with height disadvantage. But tis not the way right now. How far can we throw a flashbang? Like, like 12 tiles? It's possible. I'm on it. I haven't got anything better to do with your turn, so let's have a look. Nope. A couple of tiles off. I think I'd like you to continue running away. I can't believe we missed that 95%. Not even a graze. At this rate, we're going to have to run the overwatch. Seven health. Negative three dodge isn't good. Seven health and six dodge is good. And to make it 100%, I could stun him instead of shooting him. Except, uh, Anna's going to be able to come in and finish him off. So there's no reason. From here, I might be able to flashbang him, but he's going to get the reaction shot anyway. So it's a moot point. Okay, whose who's life are we going to risk? Probably the rookie, to be honest. The tanky rookie. And what would be the best angle to do this? Like that. Running through heavy cover. And then pick up the, uh, the loot. Good luck. It didn't actually trigger the reaction fire. Okay, that's awkward. Hmm. He doesn't have a... He doesn't have, like, fire control where he won't reaction fire unless he has a chance to hit, right? We should have heavy cover if we do this. Ooh, three damage. Okay. Yatu Watu, if you please. Run and gun. Shotgun officer right in the face. And leave him on one health. All right. It's okay, because we've got one more person who can execute him. Uh, and I'm going to risk one more person. We we've already got two people flanked here. It hardly makes a difference. But one more person standing in the open to maximize chance of hit. There we go. Okay. There's still a sectoid and a trooper... But that's really not too terrifying. The reinforcements... Yeah. We're not losing our forces, though. 
Uh, I'm much more terrified of the reinforcements than the sectoid and the trooper. We're gonna get the hell out of here, but not without being a little bit more greedy. And you can actually go Shadow next turn, so I don't think I can, hmm, oh no, I sh it's a little risky. Not that risky, because they'll be hidden. I might get seen here, and then we hide in here. Take the loot next turn, go shadow, and run away. And Yatu. Oh, do I really want to take the last bit of loot? I think I do. Moving to position. Even though Yatu's our slowest person, it's kind of on the way. Alright, where did the reinforcements come in? Or is it next turn? It's next turn, but totally fine. Alright, yoink. And a shadow. And a run. And a run. 